Hi, everyone. I'm Sam Hahn, Senior Lecturer of Anthropology and Sociology here at UWA. And I'm here to talk to you a bit about the Anthropology and Sociology major in hopes of giving you a sense of what it would be like to study Anthropology and Sociology here with us. But before we get into it, I'd like to acknowledge country. The University of Western Australia acknowledges that its campus is situated on Noongar land and that Noongar people remain the spiritual and cultural custodians of their land and continue to practice their values, languages, beliefs, and knowledge. So here's what I'll be covering in the video. First, we'll go over what anthropology and sociology are exactly, because I'm sure some of you have a sense of what they are, but want to know a bit more. Uh, then I'll move on to what you'll learn if you decide to pursue anthropology and sociology here at UWA. And then from there, I'll of course speak a bit about what you can do with a degree in anthropology and sociology. And then I'll end with some words about why you should do so with us. So anthropology and sociology, you may have heard of these terms. Uh, the two disciplines are closely related and they share a history, but they differ in terms of focus and emphasis. Um, generally speaking, anthropology focuses on the concept of culture and goes about studying people within the context of their lived experience through participant observation. Historically, this has meant the study of groups and people that were viewed as quite different culturally from that of the anthropologist. And this sort of comparative outlook allowed for the anthropologist to reflect on their own values and their own ways of living, but also to learn to understand and appreciate that of others. Sociology focuses on the social life of more familiar contexts. Generally speaking, it investigates how people's lives are structured by their social environments and how factors such as class, education, race, gender, and religion affect not only one's way of behaving in the world, but also how much power and agency they're able to exert depending on these factors. So I guess you can think about anthropology and sociology as engendering particular forms of imagination. And these two quotes demonstrate that. Uh, the first quote is by the late French anthropologist Claude Lévi-Strauss, who describes anthropology as imbuing an awareness of cultural difference. The second quote by the late American sociologist C. Wright Mills describes sociology as connecting what appear to be individual personal issues um, to larger social ones. So you can say that both anthropology and sociology systematically investigate the norms and values that you, I, and society at large may hold to be true and put them under closer scrutiny. In other words, uh, studying anthropology and sociology means understanding why we think and act in certain ways and how we have come to do so. So if you undertake the anthropology and sociology major at UWA, you'll learn to think critically about human social life, diversity, commonality, and difference. You'll learn to understand the ways in which human beings shape and are shaped by social, cultural, and environmental structures. Uh, you'll learn to engage with cultures, populations, groups that are different to your own. And you'll also, this is very important, you'll also learn to design and execute social research projects. You'll learn to use various research-based investigative techniques, such as uh, devising surveys, collecting data, participant observation, interviewing, discourse and visual analysis, archival research, oral history, just to name a few. And one of the key benefits of studying with us at UWA is that you'll be able to get training in both disciplines without having to take on a second major. So here's the uh, structure of the major. Um, we have two core units in the first year, um, and they serve as an introduction to both disciplines. And then in the second and third years, we also have a core unit in each. Uh, in the second year, you'll have social thought, which serves as the theoretical foundation to both disciplines. And then the third year, you'll have advanced qualitative methods ethnography, which is our capstone, which helps you design and execute your own research project. And then from there, you're able to sort of uh, pick from a variety of elective units. And these elective units cover topics that are very relevant today. Uh, just to name a few, we have units uh, on sex, gender, and sexuality, on politics and law, on Aboriginal art and society. Uh, we have one that's related to issues of health and illness called mind, body, and culture. We have one um, covering environmental issues, a, a unit that discusses migration as well. So you'll have a whole host of units that you can pick from aside from the core. And if you decide to move uh, on to further study from the BA, you'll have a couple options. You have the one-year honors, which can take up to two years if you do it part-time, which will consist of both coursework and a dissertation. And you also actually have the option to turn that into a master's of research uh, as well. You also have the two-year research MA in anthropology and sociology. 
uh, and you also have the three-year PhD. Um, just a bit about our academic staff. Um, the staff in the discipline group of anthropology and sociology consists of both anthropologists and sociologists, many of whom are national and or international experts in their fields. Uh, and they have a wide variety of specializations, and I'm just listing a few here. Um, education and social policy, environmental conflicts, gender and class, media and technology, migration, as well as social and political development, both here and abroad. And these specializations are reflected in our unit offerings. So what can you do with an anthropology and sociology degree from UWA? Well, for starters, you have uh, the reputation of UWA. Uh, it is ranked in the world's top 100. Uh, UWA is number one in the state for graduate employability, and UWA also has more than 4,500 in international and industry partnerships, so you'll have that going for you. But more specific to anthropology and sociology, um, you may or may not have seen that in Australia and elsewhere, uh, there's been a lot of talk of soft skills required in the labor market today. Um, employers are increasingly emphasizing soft skills in recognition of the need for highly qualified personnel who have sensitivity to diversity, cultural awareness, and a critical understanding of social processes and contexts, as well as research and analytical skills, and also the ability to understand and translate other ways of life across the globe. So what anthropology and sociology can do is that they can help you develop the best skills to cope with the cultural complexity, ambiguity, and diversity that are increasingly pertinent in today's uh, challenging and fast-changing society and why you should study anthropology and sociology here at UWA with us is that you can graduate with expertise in not one but two disciplines without taking on a second major and you'll have developed these outstanding transferable skills in particular critical thinking oral and written communication as well as engagement uh, from both anthropologists and sociologists who are leading experts in their field and our major uh, helps you develop research skills and theoretical knowledge to help you prepare for any sort of research engagement in a whole number of fields. What you'll be able to get is expertise from two different disciplines in one major. If you have any questions, uh, please go to this URL and feel free to get in touch with any of us. And I hope you stay well, and I hope you consider studying anthropology and sociology here at UWA.